Hello people welcome back to technology for blind youtube channel i am back with another interesting video for you guys so as the title says this video is all about creating a complete mirror of your current system and restoring uh, using the mirrored image if anything goes wrong so before diving into the actual video i would like to explain the concept a little bit so let's say you have created the system image backup of your currently uh, working system okay in my case i'm going to create my uh, my laptop okay my laptop is equipped with windows 10 the latest version 1909 uh, with all of my customization settings software patches all of the, the updates everything okay intact my history google chrome uh, account settings etc etc which would take me a long long time to configure because those are step by step configurations okay so let's say i have take a backup i have uh, actually it's not a backup kind of thing it's a complete mirror mirroring mirroring your uh, whole drive okay hot hard disk okay so let's say i have taken that and uh, it's in my external drive okay and the next day my computer has been attacked with a dangerous malware dangerous virus okay so what i can do instead of trying to fix my computer and get getting back as it was um, before the virus attack I can use my created system image backup to replace my existing system with the image which would restore all of my things to the state which was um, free of malware, free of viruses etc etc all of the things. So it would save my day actually because you know everybody are busy and uh, let's say you have downloaded some softwares using your bandwidth using your data so it won't be easy to get the data and also let's say uh, you have customized your system lots of manner in lots of ways trust me guys this method would help you a lot okay so uh, the procedure would be first I will show how to create the actual system image backup of your current system in this case I'm using Windows 10 uh, but you can use Windows 7 but I haven't tried it okay it would work okay but I recommend you to update your system into Windows 10 because Windows 7 has been discontinued by Microsoft okay which you already know I think right so as the first method the step I'm gonna show how to create the system image in my case I'm using an external 1 TB hard drive now my primary uh, hard disk is an ssd with 128 gb uh, which is full like uh, 50 gigs okay so i need only 50 gigs of storage to uh, create the backup and uh, i'm using one tb of external hard drive which is connected by a usb in my laptop okay so i have only two partitions in my main drive uh, the system reserved main partition and also the c drive okay and uh, i'm gonna create the system image to my external hard drive as I said before and as a second thing the second step I'm gonna show instead of creating the repair drive which would prompt you to create by the system image backup thing after it has been done its job what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the Windows 10 installation media to the U USB by using the software Rufus and uh, boot it from this uh, the the, the image okay in the uh, recent version of windows 10 images microsoft has enabled us uh, blind people visually impaired people to use the windows narrator feature at the installation process so we don't we don't need uh, the windows talking pre-installation environment um, to install windows 10 okay which is a great method so in my case i'm gonna boot up the windows 10 installation media and i'm gonna enable narrator and from that we can perform our system restore process using our created system image backup okay the complete image backup so i will show what's going on in a complete thing 
sometimes this video might be a little bit long but uh, I hope this video would help you out in a lot of manner guys so especially uh, if you have precious data if you have precious files if you have precious software customizations you you would be grateful for this okay so without further ado let's get started and also as usual if you have any questions comments thoughts please let me know in the comment section it would help me a lot okay so let's get started right i'm with my system so as the first step i'm going to show how to create the system image so first i'm going to plug my hard disk which is as I said, 1 TB. This PC window 7. This PC window, devices with large D, row 1, column 2909, space 3, 429 GB total size, 931 GB tool tip. So, space 3, 400 GB, kind of. So, I'm gonna check my system, uh, system size, okay? Uh, right. C backslash NTFS drive 50.82 GB and 118.67 GB used 42.8 percent. D backslash NTFS drive 502.43 GB of 931.51 GB used 53.9 percent. So I'm using the resource monitor in the NVDA add-on. Okay, so you can get the add-on from the official page of NVDA. Okay, so I'm gonna use this hard drive to create the image. Okay. So, first thing, we have to go to the control panel, okay, and file history, okay, then, system image backup, system image backup, system image backup, after you press enter on this button, on this link, you will be prompted with the UAC user account control dialog. You have to press Alt Y or uh, grant the permission by pressing Yes. Okay. Secure desktop. File history. File backup and restore. Window seven. Backup and restore. Okay. Window seven. CPL main now, window. Select another backup man. Tool over tool. Set help. File history. Security and create a system repair disk. Link create. Create a system repair disk. Okay. Let's talk a little bit later. Create a system image. Link create a system image. You have to click create a system image. Secure desktop. Back run the permission. System image. System image. In a minute, it will be prompted to select the path. Okay, it's it is scanning. Um, talking about the repair disk. Um, usually, if you start the process for the first time, after creating the system image, it will prompt you to create a system repair disk, which you have to have. An empty CD inserted in your uh, DVD drive to create one. Okay. On the artist radio button, check out plus H. Okay, it has been scanned the storage devices, and it has selected on a hard disk which I wanted, but there are other options as well. On one or more DVDs, radio button, check out plus D. DVDs. On the network location, radio button, check out network plus D. Location. On the artist okay. radio button, check out plus H. So let's select hard disk. Selected hard disk combo box large D. 429.08 GB relapsed. Yeah, this is the drive. Create and image. Selected hard disk. Next button navigates the next page of rest unavailable. The following drives will be backed up. List. The following drives will be back up. Back, back up. Okay, but there are no any things in the list because uh, NVD doesn't read. If you want, you can use object nav to read, which I'm not going to do right now. Uh, the drives will, which are going to be back up are system preserved and also the C drive as I said before okay so start backup button completes the wizard plus S. we have to press start backup to complete the wizard press create a system image dialog windows is saving the backup stop backup button plus S. and it might take a little bit to backup in my case it might take about 10 to 20 minutes to complete the whole thing it has to copy 50 gigs of things to the external hard drive okay so Talking about the Windows Repair Disk, um, it will prompt you to create the Windows Repair Disk after you have created the backup. Uh, at the end of this step, uh, at the end of this creation, it will prompt you to create the System Repair Disk. And in my case, as I said, I'm not going to use the System Repair Disk because I'm going to use the Windows 10 uh, installation image. But if you wish to create a System Repair Disk after creating the backup, um, let's say you have cancelled it, then you can use that uh, backup and restore Windows 7. Up and forward. 
Set up the link and file disk security and create a system repair disk link create a system repair disk This button, this link to create the system repair disk, okay? So Create a system image dialog file history Let's close this Create a system image dialog backing up system reserve Stop backup button mode plus S Okay, now we have to leave as it is to back up those things And uh, Let's Folder view Create Show the disk The Disk items view list Devices and drop Large D Sock Item Rufus.id Note Sock with Rufus 3 Rufus Secure desktop Okay. Okay. Tool bar, show advanced format options button. Now, I'm gonna insert my USB flash drive, which is a 16 gigs of uh, USB flash drive. And remember to back up Start all button. of the, the things in your USB flash drive because it, it is gonna format everything. Close button. Combo box USB key. 16 GB collapsed. Yeah, this is a drive. Food selection combo box with 10 underscore 1909 ISO collapsed. Okay. Tool bar, compute the MD5. Select button. Image option combo box standard windows installation collapsed. Leave it as default. Partition scheme combo box GPT collapsed. Um, most of the times the partition scheme would be MBR. MBR, but you have to play with the settings if your mood thing is not working because it is kind of a little bit complicated topic because uh, various manufacturer designs their systems in a various manner okay target system combo box bios or let csm collapsed yeah leave it as default tool bar show advanced drive properties button volume label edit select file system combo cluster size combo box or tool bar show advanced status tool bar change the application start button Let's click start. Rest, Rufus dialog warning. All data on device USB E. 16 GB will be destroyed. To continue with this operation, click OK. To quick click cancel OK button. OK. Rufus 3.8.1580. Portable dialog drive properties format options. Cancel button. Now, this also um, takes about 20 minutes, I think. 15 minutes to copy. So, now I'm gonna pause the video and uh, I will be back after the process completes. OK. Uh, Creation of this uh, system image has been completed. Start with create a system image dialog to backup completed successfully. Close button plus C. So, uh, as I said, if you are running the thing for the first time, after the creation of this uh, system image, it will prompt you to create the system repair disk. Which, if you want, you can do that. But unfortunately, most of the time, um, the narrator will not be available. But I haven't tried it. Okay, let me know if you have tried. Uh, nothing right so let's uh, press uh, the space bar to close the thing and uh, the creation of windows 10 iso has also been completed now inside the hard disk windows image backup 9 of 9 we've got a folder called windows image backup okay windows image backup 9 of 9 state created 2 slash 24 slash 20 24 58 pm empty folder toolkit which is an empty folder by the like it uh, is kind of a protected area now if we press enter on this folder windows image backup dialog you don't currently have permission to access this folder click continue to permanently get access to this folder continue button so we have to press continue to access this folder Mark, secure desktop allow the permission windows image backup window items view list modem ration not selected one to one selected now this is also a protected folder modem ration dialog with secure okay. desktop modem catalog two of five so these are some backup catalog sp media hits. Now there are some uh, virtual disks which you can mount if you want to access individual files from your system image. Um, so these are self-explanatory guys. Let's get to the work. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw my system to show that this thing actually works. Okay. So let's see. Now I'm gonna restart my system and uh, I will be back with my phone. 
okay I'm with my phone now <coughs> I have screwed my system which I'm not going to show how because uh, of some risky reasons you know what I have done is I have completely screwed my operating system where I have deleted my partitions my hard drive uh, so my Windows doesn't boot so let's turn on my laptop and uh, I will show what's going on in this case it shows something error uh, in my system uh, before it shows something uh, boot option error or something here here is the error message it says something a uh, boot not found uh, please install an operating system to <coughs> work with the system as usual okay so I have cleaned my hard drive actually now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my USB flash drive which is the Windows 10 installation media in installation ISO file which we were born uh, sorry uh, burned and also I'm gonna plug my hard disk which is also equipped with a USB thing and let's press alt control delete now I'm gonna try my best to press while using my phone but okay let's see okay and my boot sequence key is F. Oh my God, uh, F9, which I have to press to get to the boot menu. This maybe depends on your system. Actually, every manufacturer has their own way of booting into the system. Where you will need a kind of a sighted assistance to. to the boot menu and BIOS because sometimes you have to change your boot order also so this might get a little bit complicated okay now in my case I have come to the main menu of my system where it shows F1 to BIOS and all those stuff so I, I can press um, F9 to get to the boot menu shows something is error uh, okay I have got into my boot sequence where I pressed F9 uh, repeatedly to get to the boot sequence now as I said before you have to get help from a sighted assistant if you are a complete blind person but don't worry you can do this okay so I'm going to select my USB flash drive by pressing down arrow twice uh, because I remember what's going on in my system so since I have plugged my USB flash drive into the port uh, it shows the thing so I can press enter and uh, automatically it will boot to the USB flash drive without asking anything but uh, normally it will ask and it will say press any key to boot from USB or something so I highly recommend you to get sighted assistance in this case okay as I said before when it comes to the boot options BIOS all those uh, basic stuffs uh, you will need some sort of sighted help um, at least until the Windows setup boots okay after that you can turn on narrator then you will be independent and you can work okay as you wish so now what's going on is Windows is booting through my Windows uh, 10 installation media which is in my USB flash drive okay because the USB flash drive is slow usually slow it takes a little bit time but um, now I'm gonna restart uh, sorry I'm gonna okay okay now it has been booted to my USB flash drive what I'm gonna do now is gonna press Windows plus control plus enter to turn on narrator okay so 
now I'm gonna try to press control plus Windows plus enter at the same time while holding the phone uh, where it won't be much easier so let me keep the phone here narrator dialogue okay button alt plus o heads up narrator keyboard changes we've updated the narrator keyboard layout so it so these are not important so i have to plug my hard drive um okay now turn off okay okay windows setup window install windows language to install english united states combo box now you have to press next time next install now and repair repair your computer but you can Alt get plus. to the button by pressing shift tab space boot app window troubleshoot button yes exactly you have to click on troubleshoot but there are other options as well turn off your pc button troubleshoot button let's press troubleshoot start up repair button not this command prompt button uninstall update system restore but system image recovery button yes this is the thing you have to click on Re-image your computer dialog. Re-image your computer dialog. Next. Button. Alt plus N. Cancel. Use the latest available system image. Recommended. Radio button. Selected. This Alt is the recommended options which, which I'm gonna select but there are other options. Select a system image. Radio button. Selected. So let's select the... Use the latest available system image. Recommended. Radio button. This option. Selected. Let's press. Plus computer. Edit. Read only. Large. E. Now we have to leave those as default because uh, since I have plugged my hard drive before, it has been detected the correct uh, system image. Okay. Edit. Read only. Edit. Read only. Next. These are the time, date, and all those information. Space. Now. Cancel. Exclude disks button install drivers button advanced button back button next button since my hard drive doesn't contain any partitions it has selected the default thing which says uh, replace the hard drive with the image content okay cancel next button. so next next Tab item date and time edit read only so these are read only edit protected like uh, standard things computer drives to restore edit read only back finish button after clicking finish it will do its job re-image your computer dialog yes button alt plus y all disks to be restored will be formatted and replaced with the layout and data in the system image are you sure you want to continue yes re-image your computer dialog preparing to restore your disks so it might take a long time depending on your size so let's leave it as it is and I will back I will be back after the thing completes okay okay it's uh, almost complete now I would like to say a few things um, if you want to check the progress of the thing of the process you can use insert plus left arrow Windows is restoring your computer from the system image this might take from a few minutes to a few hours. And another insert plus left arrow. Restoring disk. See, 93% progress bar. Now Restoring disk. leave it as it is and it will report Restoring the disk. Uh, thing, the progress. And you can increase Restoring and disk. decrease the narrator speed by pressing uh, insert plus equals and insert plus dash okay respectively after the restore thing completes it will restart the system and you will be back okay let's restart because uh, it's not necessary to wait until the thing completes okay so here comes my system now it's loading and uh, yeah this is the power of SSD 
almost yeah it has been loaded completed okay I'm back to my desktop right so this is how the restore thing works and uh, you have to experience this this would help a lot for you my files and everything has been recovered everything is back so I'm extremely happy about this method because it has saved me uh, in a situation where I have got a virus attack as I said before so let me know what you think about this and if you have any questions comments thoughts ideas please let me know it would help me a lot to create the channel more nicely and uh, thank you very much for watching see you in the next video signing out Mohamed Ashad